Hi everyone, welcome to Stogie Geeks 101, how to smoke a cigar. There are a lot of different ways in which people smoke cigars. Some of them are right, some of them are wrong. Some, of, uh, some people are of the opinion that there really is no right or wrong way and you might disagree with me. There are some things that I believe everyone needs to know about how to smoke a cigar. The first and most obvious rule is not to inhale your cigar. I don't think it's very debonair to be inhaling on a cigar. They're not meant to be inhaled. You want to gently puff on your cigar, take some of the smoke in your mouth, and blow it out. Um, so I'm going to do that right here. And blow the smoke out. You want to um, have a nice cigar that's going to give you a good draw. You want a good amount of smoke. This cigar that I'm smoking today uh, has a perfect draw. It's giving me just the right amount of smoke as I puff in and blow out. Now, some people will also what's called retrohale a cigar. That means taking the smoke in and gently blowing some of the smoke out through your nose. It can take some practice. Not everyone's going to be able to do it uh, the first time they smoke a cigar. However, when it comes to getting flavor of the cigar, that's why you're taking the smoke in your mouth and, and blowing it out, is to get the flavor of that cigar and cigar smoke in your mouth. Um, by retrohaling it, it actually hits the senses in the back of your mouth and, and through your nose, and you get a lot more flavor when you do the retrohale. It's really hard to describe how to retrohale a cigar, um, other than you want to take it in, maybe a little further than you would normally, and blow out gently through your nose. Now, the important thing to remember is, don't take your strong and spicy cigar and try and retrohale it on the first puff. Uh, that can sting a lot, and you don't want to take all of the smoke and retrohale it. You want to try and retrohale some of it, maybe a little bit towards the end. Try retrohaling it. Do it with some milder cigars at first. So here's the retrohale. And that gives you some nice flavors uh, across your palate. So that's essentially how to smoke a cigar and you know some of the other things too as you smoke the cigar obviously there's going to be some ash that happens. Um, I don't like it when people are constantly tapping it off and flicking it like a cigarette. This is not a cigarette. You basically want to forget everything you learned about smoking when you tried cigarettes when you were a teenager uh, and focus on having a cigar. I, those that have watched the Stogie Geek show know I like to let the ash go as far as possible before I then tap it off into the ashtray. And sometimes, you know, you're not sure if the ash is going to fall on you, if it's going to make a mess everywhere. There's nothing wrong with holding it over your ashtray. Move this ashtray a little closer and just giving it a tap and seeing if the ash falls. And if it doesn't, then it's meant to stay there. Um, so, you know, let your ash go for a while and, you know, look at it, check on it every once in a while and see if it is ready to, to fall off in the ashtray. Um, so that's the basics of how to smoke a cigar. Thanks everyone for watching.